Hello, I'm Nico. I'm the sales engineer at Xometry. And today we prepared some practical example what 3D printing is capable of. So playing the guitar and see what can the SLA, what about SLS and what about FDM. And then in addition, we have prepared three different thicknesses. So here we have already 0.5 millimeter uh, up to one millimeter. So 0.5, 0.75 and one millimeter. So we start with FDM and ABS. One millimeter pick, I expect this one to hold. And it lasts. The next one is SLS, PA12 and the thickness is one millimeter. So it doesn't look so smooth, but uh, let's see if it will break. So this one is even more flexible than um, the ABS. I mean, from the properties we know it's 20%, but it works really good. Doesn't look so smooth, but it's a really nice material. So here we have SLA, the smoothest part of all of them, the nicest surface finish. <laughs> It looks good, uh, it holds, but you see already at the edges that it wears out. So here we have FDM in 0.75, material ABS. Let's try. Yeah, still looks good. Here we have uh, SLS and um, PA12 in the thickness uh, 0.75 millimeter. This is the absolute minimum we, uh, we would uh, recommend. And even here you see the surface is not so super smooth, but it should be good. Should be, I mean, it's quite flexible. Let's try. Yeah, it is really, it is, so the PA12, you can see it is really flexible. So here we go with, with SLA again, the best uh, surface quality, but sometimes not the best properties. Let's see what it can do. So from the beginning, it is already a little bit deformed, I see. So this is 0.75, again, extreme gray. Let's try it. No, it lasts. It's good. It wears out, but uh, it holds. The last one, the last thickness, 0.5. FDM again uh, in ABS. So it is really then uh, 0.5 millimeter. Still flexible. Let's check. Yeah, so the FDM one. Uh, it has a small, small uh, kind of crack mark, a, a mark finally, so it will not survive a song, I, I guess, yeah. So you can, you can see this one is really borderline with 0.5. Here we have uh, the SLS 0.5. Finally, we would not recommend uh, to print 0.5 wall thickness in SLS. Um, still, you can see the surface, how it looks like, so it doesn't come out proper. Yeah, and we see PA12 is really uh, still flexible. Also in the not recommend wall thickness of 0.5, it deforms. Uh, it stays at, at some point and comes back slowly. The last one, SLA, extreme gray. 0.5 millimeter. It is a really tiny one. You can see, see through. I, I guess this one should break. So even if SLA 
uh, if this one has also good properties, but I, I'm going to break it. It broke! We are back at the table with the final results. Finally, uh, I didn't expect such a good result, so that nearly most of them will, will last the test. Uh, just just the 0.5 SLA broke, the 0.5 uh, FDM deformed. Overall, you could say um, SLS and PA12, the material PA12 in general, I would say, is the one with the best uh, properties which is really a uh, durable material. We also see SLA is the one with the best uh, surface result, so it looks really nice. Finally, I also expect that even it is so hard that one millimeter or 0.75 will break and, and uh, not last, but, but they did. But keep in mind for SLA, extreme gray is the material with better properties. You won't achieve this probably in ABS-like or uh, PC-like. For this kind of application, go with PA12. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Mm -hmm.